150 years ago at a machine shop in Mobile, Alabama, a submarine, later named the H.L. Hunley, was built with money from businessmen and the support of the Confederate Army. Once completed, it was shipped by rail from Alabama to Charleston. The Hunley, with its smooth hydrodynamic hull made from riveted iron plates, was a true engineering marvel of its time. The vessel's propeller was shrouded and a system of pumps and valves controlled its buoyancy. Once deployed for combat, the Hunley was outfitted with the torpedo spar, which was lowered and raised with a wooden mast. New research suggests the torpedo used in its first and only attack on a Union warship was called a Singer torpedo, packed with 135 pounds of black powder explosives. On the night of February 17, 1864, lookouts on board the USS Housatonic spotted the Hunley's candlelight visible to the forward viewing tower on the submarine. Union soldiers opened fire with their rifles, shots pinging off the vessel's iron hull. Undeterred, the Hunley charged on. Angling the spar, Lieutenant George Dixon, at the helm of the Hunley, placed the torpedo directly underneath the hull of the Housatonic. The goal, to achieve maximum damage. Historians have long assumed the torpedo was planted in the hull as the Hunley backed away before the torpedo detonated. The latest evidence suggests the torpedo remained firmly attached to the spar and that the vessel was no more than 16 feet away from the blast. The Hunley was the first submarine in history to sink an enemy vessel in combat. Within five minutes, the Housatonic had settled onto the shallow seafloor. Five Union soldiers were killed. The rest escaped by climbing the ship's rigging. Meanwhile, the Hunley sank 300 yards away from the ship. When divers found it in 1995, it was intact, buried by sand, resting on its starboard side, where it lay until it was raised in 2000. Why it came to rest there and what happened that February night remains a military and scientific mystery to this day.